The FreeBSD project has released a new release. In fact, they've released two. We're going to concentrate on one today, just have a quick look at it. So that's FreeBSD 13.3. We're not looking at that. We're looking at FreeBSD 14.1. Right, so let's have a quick look at it. Let's have a look at the announcement and uh, and go from there, I guess. So here's the announcement. Release engineering team is pleased to announce the availability of 14.1 release. Uh, highlights are the C library now has SIMD implementations, improvements in the sound subsystem, that'll be interesting to look at. Initial native cloud init configuration drive support compatible with OpenStack and many hosters, okay. OpenZFS is upgraded to 224. Can be interesting to look at as well. OpenSSH upgraded. Clang and LLVM have been upgraded too. So this, it, the thing to bear in mind with this is that it is just a point release, but you know it's always nice to look at new releases. There's the download links, and there they all are. Releases, whoosh, loads of them. AMD64 DVD, and that's the one I would download all the SHA files so you can hash it and, and check out if it's the right download. So yeah, there we go, released. Excellent stuff. Much of this I, I can't really test on this system because I'm not really running it for any of those purposes, but you know, here we go. But what's interesting is that the, the package repo has also been updated and now KDE 6 is running much better. <laughs> so in my last video, found that a load of this stuff was all missing this has not really had much installed on it but there's a lot a lot more in here now and the icons are working be interesting to see if i can get caden live installed did you what do you reckon anything gonna be removed no okay install so yeah we got kde plasma version 604 framework is 620 and there's our kernel version 14.1 release lovely stuff on my intel hd graphics you gotta wonder why i'm trying to install Caden live then. It's not going to run very well. Hey, doesn't matter. Oh, hello. It's removing some. What's it going to remove? I guess it hasn't been ported over yet, but that's no biggie, to be honest. Uh, what else can I put on there? A couple of bits. <laughs> Always seems to install more than just OBS Studio, so it's installed VLC player as well, which is fine, I don't mind that. There we go. Be nice if they actually come up with a proper Chrome desktop, unless there's a Linux Chrome. I'm not getting into Linux later. I, I just, I wonder if it's there though. Uh, let's have a search for it, shall we? Linux Chrome, yeah. It's not exactly a huge overhead. 89 packages, that's fine, I can deal with that. Almost done. 60, 70, 89. Cannot install package, kernel missing. Okay, easy enough to solve, just have to recompile. But I, I can't be dealing with that today. Um, bye bye. So, yeah, this is much better, much, much better. I know it was a matter of time, just I'm a bit impatient. Interesting. Plasma style. Should really be on there, shouldn't we? Gotta have me dark. Dark theme is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Yeah. I like the oxygen stuff. Login screen, SDDM. Oh, I wanna have a look at that. Cool. Need to change the keyboard in KDE. Re region and language. Language. Okay, interesting. British English. Interesting. Loggy outski. Let's see what we get. Yeah, still that one. Okay, so let's log back in and restart. Interesting that there's no restart on the on the desktop there, but yeah, that's fine. This has kind of turned into a bit of a KDE thing, I didn't want it to. Really not what I wanted at all. 
Let's let it restart. Yeah, it's because D-Bus wasn't running. Hmm. Oh, there is a restart. It's up in the top right corner. Just saw it. Right, you can nap off. Oh, hello. Interesting. It's KDE for you. Uh, what was it doing? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, keyboard. No, not keyboard. Languages. No. Well, that's a bit better. Right, so let's have a look at that theme and see what it's like. Hello. The theme is not there. Stupid or doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can you relaunch this as root? I'm not sure you can. Oh, you see what's happened there? It's not using that one, which is what I was using. What did it just say? I didn't say anything. Anyway, doesn't matter. Still be the same. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right. So 14.1 is out. KDE 6 is there now. There are still some issues with that. We knew that would ever would happen. But yeah, FreeBSD running 14.1 and also using KDE Plasma 604. Love it. But it at least now looks more like a KDE desktop no much better much better the freebsd project team work very hard on getting these releases out we should all go and try them if we can i'll be updating my server to 14.1 although i do run stable it, it might take me a little longer but i will be doing it for now that'll do just a quick look at it at least we know that things are moving in the right direction be interesting to look at these improvements to the sound system it'll be very interesting to look at it yeah we'll keep we'll keep looking at that if you find this useful and you do have time, please do just drop a, a thumbs up or thumbs down if you really want to. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, everything. Do it all. And as uh, as I'm thinking about it, down in the description, link to the Discord server. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.